today we are making a candle or multiple. This is a candle making kit by People and Stem. Um, and I got this from one of my massage clients, shout out. And this was such a beautiful gift and I wanted to wait cause it was just so special to me that I was gifted this. And I wanted to wait to like actually delve into the whole candle making process and sit down, we are at the cabins. So, you know, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to unpack this, make a little candle at the cabin and, and make a memory. It is your girl Sage Monroe, and we are at the beautiful cabins in Helen, Georgia. You know, you just need to get away some time, a little staycation. Um, and I am so excited to be here and to do this candle review. I have been waiting to do this review, y'all. I mean, this box has just been sitting there staring at me like, make me, make me. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to wait to share this with y'all because that means so much to me. So it's giving like paint and sip vibes, but like candle lover edition. So I am still here for this. Let's just jump right in. Um, they have their social media information here. And then they give you a description of everything it includes right here on the back of the box. And you see how much stuff this includes y'all? Like. No, they hooked your girl up. So to begin unpacking all the contents of this kit, they actually gifted me a free candle holder, which was so nice. I mean, this packaging was just so cute. I barely wanted to open it. First thing out of the pack was this manual. Next, we have a envelope that I wasn't really sure what it was. It was like, okay, this is a little mystery envelope. We're gonna see what that is. The kit also included five packages of wax, which I feel like is more than enough to go a long way in building candles. When I tell y'all they packed this kit so tight and so neatly that just everything fit back in there perfectly. Um, I was like, what is this? Like there was things packaged inside of packages. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Here we have our jars and they kind of have them like within a jar, within a jar, within a jar. I was like, does this end or? <laughs> but uh, I love uh, the color of them and their great quality. And this kit does come with over eight candle tins. This is a thermometer you're gonna use to track the heat level to know when to put the essential oils in. And they also have dyed cubes of color so you can color your candles. Next up, I was like, what are these? Essential oils? I could not wait to smell them. And y'all, we're gonna get to that part, but they smell amazing. And I just like how they were all different kinds of essential oils, not just lavender. You had like sea salt and orchid and mango lime. It was just amazing. I love how they just made them different. This baggie held like a premium candle tin from the Pebble and Stem Company. And I just think that that's so cute how they're like, here, a little upgrade for y'all. I am shook. I did not know all this stuff was gonna come included. Like, I'm in awe. I cannot wait to get to smelling these essential oils, <laughs> y'all. So I wanna go through these little mystery, this little mystery packet that I got and this whatever this is and i'm pretty sure this is just an instruction manual but y'all they were not playing games and i like how the essential oils are like different sea salt and orchid like you ain't gonna find it nowhere else come on now stop sleeping on people and still <laughs> okay since we already unpacked all the other packages so let me just go ahead and see what's left in here um okay let me just make some mixers what is in this letter from the company if it's a letter i'm not sure what it is i'm not sure i'm not starting to get it out okay 
stickers, warning labels, <gasps> designs. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. It's so cute. It's like they literally thought about everything. So it was like, if you don't want to keep it like this, I may actually paint mine because I brought paint. So I might actually design it myself. Oh, you can even put a people list them sticker on top. That is too freaking cute. Might use use this for one of them. This is so beautiful. I love this. Let's get started making this candle. So I decided to paint mine. It's a work in progress. The paint was taking a little bit to dry. So um, I think I'm just it's supposed to be a star, but I'm going to finish it um, later. So I'm gonna finish it later so I can show you all the process of making the candle. So the first instruction in the video was to choose an essential oil. And I'm excited to try these cause they have like different scents, like not just like lavender and peppermint, but it's like white sage and lavender or mango and coconut milk. So I'm gonna smell these and then I'm going to show y'all which one we choose. So I went ahead and chose the sea salt orchid and it smells so good. It smells like fresh, clean soap. Like that's how I want my house to smell. So the next step is to choose which color we want our candle to be. So they actually label them with the name of whichever essential oil you chose. They don't want to focus. But yeah, so they have green, they have brown, they have purple, and they have like an orangish color. Um, mine is matched up with the green. And I don't know, I kind of went into it with the intention of doing purple, so I think I'm probably going just to the purple block. It's just wax, it's not scented, so it don't really matter. So the block, it comes with two, so I'm pretty sure you just like break them apart if you want to use one or the other, but we both want purple, so I'm gonna go ahead and put both purple ones into the melting pot. This is the melting pot. So I put the coloring inside, and then I just pour a little bit of the wax in there already. So I'm gonna use this whole bag. It does tell you the measurements in the direction, so just follow your directions, and um, you'll be good to go. But I just put, put it in here and then we're gonna move on to the next phase. Next, it wants us to choose the um, candle wick size. They have that also label on the bag. So this one is a four ounce, they have a four ounce, they have a six ounce. So I'm gonna give him this one and I'm gonna get the six ounce one for mine. They give you these to stick the wicks on so it can stick to the bottom of the can. I just peel this off, here's my wick. I'm gonna stick that on there. And it has a sticky part. Here's my can. I'm just gonna put that right there. So next step is to actually heat the wax. You need to have a saucepan to do this. It says that they don't want the um, melting pot to connect with the pan just to float above it. So we're gonna try to work it out. And they also mentioned that like it doesn't need to be at a like a severe boil, just like a gentle simmer is fine because you don't want to boil and the water get inside of the wax because they don't mix. So I'm about to go do that now. So we put the water in the saucepan, right? And we added our candle wax, as you can see, um, about half half the pan because you don't want it to overflow for real. So you just let it sit right there. After boiling it for about 15 minutes, we got a nice little lavender situation. So I almost forgot to mention that um, in reading the instructions, we saw that like if you're mixing a wax combination, they want you to use one essential oil. So even though we had two different essential oils that we wanted to do, um, we decided to end up just going picking one, which was the white lavender, white sage and lavender, and um, doing that for the full batch. So they are so pretty. You do have to let them sit for about 48 hours, and then we'll redo our touch-ups and designs, and then I'll show you all that as well. 
good morning everyone so i know y'all have seen me over the course of like two whole days but the candle making process was a little lengthy um i really enjoyed it and the longest part is just waiting for them to solidify so um i will show you all here so these are candles and this is the finished product on the inside i do still have to cut the wick but I want to wait till I'm completely done decorating. You'll see like the paint chipped and a couple of my designs got taken out. So I'm going to wait 48 hours as instructed um, before burning my candle and just, you know, rework on my designs a little bit. They made one too. These are so cute. I will absolutely um, continue to, to use the rest of my kit um, just because it's like creativity. Like you're creating something. It. I was really present throughout the process. It was just like, I felt I was just in a creative mode and like out of my head. So I really enjoy that. And it's like, I have a reward for that <laughs> as I should, as we all should. So beautiful cannot wait to burn these when i do i'll of course show y'all another clip it's probably gonna be in another time zone to me if my hair different don't judge me hey y'all so now that the 48 hours is finally up i'm gonna finally go ahead and cut my candle wick and give it a nice burn and oh my gosh it smells so amazing ah, i love this so i'm gonna go ahead and cut my candle wick I could have better scissors, but we work with what we got. Okay. So this is the first burn and it smelled amazing. I did not go back and do the designs, but I still can in the future. Y'all, I am more than happy with my candle kit and even the experience that I just had creating the candle. I would overall rate it a 10 out of 10 and suggest it to anyone, especially my creatives out there or people who are looking to do like different collaborative things during date nights or um, even just by yourself. Like when you want to do like a little quick creation or if you just love candles in general, I absolutely recommend. And um, also when it comes to like if you if you're thinking about getting a gift like this for a child i would say um this whole setup this whole um creation would have probably taken a little bit of supervision just because you have to use the stove but besides that it was very simple um the instructions were great self-explanatory and i will absolutely be continuing to create more candles in the future so once again shout out to my client um such a phenomenal thoughtful gift and also shout out to y'all for tuning in make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're into femininity travel and or self-care because that is what i cover on my channel and i will leave the link down in the bio to this candle kit so you can go ahead and grab yours from people in stem thank you so much for tuning in and taking this few day journey with me in the making the candle and y'all didn't see me at at five different identities at this point so we as family but um again make sure you comment down below and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video peace